I'm Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you the fragrances that I wore for the week. I had some awesome, awesome perfume days. And then I had uh, one where I'm just like, ah, oh, I, yeah, we'll talk about it. Anyway, before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And if you enjoy the content, please give it a thumbs up. Apparently it helps the algorithm. So not sure how any of that works, but uh, yeah, feel free to give it a thumbs up as well. And for those of you that regularly support the channel, some of you watch. Uh, but you don't comment. Some of you watch and comment. Some of you uh, watch and give it a thumbs up. Whatever it is that you do, it, 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 to me it all is so wonderful and I'm so thankful for all of you and your support no matter what that looks like for you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch these videos. I so, so appreciate it. And yeah, let's get started. The first one I have, I'm not going to talk about it too much because I've worn kind of different variations of it, but I started with Bath and Body Works Peach Prosecco Macaron. Um, I love this fragrance. It smells like peach, like peaches and cream with some sugar on top. That's kind of what it smells like. So I absolutely love this. So I started with this. Then I put La Nuit Tresor Nude on. Now this um, is rose, vanilla, and coconut. Uh, you get a little hint of that rose. You get a lot of the coconut, but this is not, um, it's not like a beachy coconut. It's more of a, a sweet, it's not a gourmand co coconut either. It's kind of a an elegant kind of perfumey coconut. Don't want to drop this one. This is a gem. Yes, indeed it is. So I love this fragrance. It's fast becoming one of my favorites. So I absolutely love this, but I love the way it smells with peach. So paired it with the peach. So I had kind of a peachy coconut vibe, but then I also used my pe Pesho Yuzu. Holy mackerel. It's like they're jumping right out of my hand. Anyway, Pesho Yuzu by Kais Perfumery. I have ordered a full bottle. I love it that much. I just think it's fantastic. Kind of just makes me happy. I'm really, really loving peach fragrances lately. I just really enjoy this. But, and both of these fragrances are beautiful on their own, but together they're just magic somehow. See, I'm dropping everything. Anyway, fantastic combination. I smelled fantastic. You know, <laughs> <laughs> how you go like I was feeling myself I was smelling myself like I just I just love this combo probably my favorite combo of all times can't stop wearing it won't stop wearing it that was the major major hit this week next fragrance as per usual I had Scandal à Paris on at some point during the week this one, I just love wearing it. I feel good when I have it on. I think there's jasmine in this one. There's pear in the opening. There's honey. Uh, but it's just, it's beautiful. It's sweet and a little bit sticky from that honey. Uh, the jasmine is slightly sexy, but then the pear kind of freshens it up. So it's just a beautifully balanced fragrance to me. Like, you know how sometimes, like, sweets, you eat a cookie and it, it tastes sweet and it's okay, but it's kind of somehow bland. It's cause it's missing the salt. Like you need some sort of balance. So with this one, uh, it's got that sticky honey, which maybe would have gotten overpowering, especially with the jasmine. But when you pair it with the pear, which is more fresh, it just feels so well-rounded and just enjoyable. This husband, uh, this fra <laughs> this husband, I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much, baby. Now this, this, I was gonna say it again. Holy mackerel, I'm a mess today. Anyway, this fragrance, uh, my husband really loves it. Uh, <laughs> I should qualify that with the fact that it's not like he even really notices the whole bunch, but anytime he does notice fragrance, it's been when I'm wearing this one. So that, that kind of gives me the hit that he actually likes it. So really, really love this one. It, it, it gets worn at least once a week at some point. So yes, Scandal à Paris. So the next fragrance I tried was Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis. Kirkjan. Now, uh, this one, um, I, I've heard so much about it. It's seriously so gorgeous. So I enjoyed wearing it. Um, it's, uh, it's like sweet and kind of decadent. 
Uh, the, the notes in this are vanilla, amber, musk, woodsy notes, juniper berries, nutmeg, and coriander. So although there's all those uh, like kind of more fall or winter type notes, I didn't feel like it was heavy or overpowering wearing it in, in this season. So I can see being able to wear it all year round, although if it got super hot, I think it may be a little bit much. It's just really, really enjoyable. Like it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous fragrance. Um, I found that it lasted like a good six, seven hours, but it wasn't like the projection was amazing. So although I could smell it, if I came in close, I could smell it like pretty much all day. It wasn't like I was getting wafts of it. So I found that the projection wasn't as good. Now that may be because I didn't like majorly overspray, you know, I was trying to save my sample. So didn't overspray. So maybe that's part of it. But seriously, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now here's where I struggle. So um, I am I I am super careful with how I spend my money. I don't want to uh, spend tons and tons of money unless I absolutely love it. Now this would definitely go on my wish list. Uh, but that said, there's this balance for me between. And maybe some of you can relate, maybe some of you don't. So if you've got lots of ex like expendable cash, you know, obviously I know that everybody is gonna want to be wise with their money and everybody's values are different. So totally get that. But for me, uh, what I try to bring to the table is going, okay, this is an amazing fragrance, but is it any more amazing? Uh, like it smells completely different, but is it any more amazing than something like this, which is way more affordable? Like this is still expensive, but it's much more affordable than an MFK fragrance. So th there's this balance for me as in, uh, am I going to enjoy this enough that the price tag uh, is worth it for me? So it, if I just really think it's beautiful, but don't necessarily know how much wear I get out of it, I don't know if I want to purchase. Like I really love niche and I totally understand that their budgets, you know, they're, they're trying to create these beautiful fragrances. I totally appreciate the artistry. I appreciate uh, why they're more money. You know, the, the, the market is smaller. It's a smaller company. It's going to cost more. So I get that. And I don't think that, that uh, many of these fragrances, I don't feel like they're way overpriced, uh, but they're more than my budget will potentially allow. So for me, that's what I'm thinking about when I'm thinking about a fragrance. If I had oodles of cash, would I buy this? I'd actually buy it tomorrow because I really, really loved it. Uh, just think it's gorgeous, like it's so beautiful. Uh, and, and the fact that it's got all those kind of warm notes to it without it feeling cloying or heavy, so, so gorgeous. So um, it's one that is up for consideration, but for me, that's the balance. It's like, do I love it enough to justify the price? And like I said, for some people, you know, they love fragrances in such a way they don't care what it costs and they they want to put their money towards that for me uh, i want to be really careful um partially because i need to be just frankly i need to be careful with my money uh but i don't want to get into this what's the term is it fomo uh that whole thing where you're wanting something just because someone has it and raves about it i don't want to get into that and i don't want to promote that either so um, how did this turn into such a major, massive uh, chat? I'm not sure. Love the fragrance. Uh, not sure I would want to buy it at least right now, but I'm definitely keeping it on my radar because it's so, so pretty. Uh, definitely recommend it. But again, for me, it's just that price tag. Tell me what you guys think. Like, uh, you know, I know there's lots of niche lovers out there and I totally uh, love and appreciate their collections. Like, I'm so thankful for... My friend Hesse, who has all these wonderful fragrances that I can experience. Um, but I, I think too, like I want you guys, I want to be real be, uh, with you. Like, so uh, my budget at this juncture doesn't allow for a whole lot of like massive fragrance expenditures. Like, 
It just doesn't. And I want you guys to realize that that's okay. It's okay if your budget allows for it and you want to purchase those things, but it's also okay if your budget doesn't allow that and you can smell amazing and really enjoy fragrance, uh, you know, no matter what your budget is. I really want to make sure that you all know that because you all deserve to smell pretty. Uh, so yeah, I hope that makes sense. So do I love this? Actually, yeah, I really, really enjoy this one. Will I purchase it? No, but it will go on my wish list. <laughs> myself. I do. I love myself. Do you guys love yourselves? I hope so. Okay, moving on. Next one, just totally enjoyed it all day was Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, this is just, it's so pretty. Like, I just really, really enjoy wearing this one. It's just relaxing to me. Smells like a vacation. Uh, it smells just sweet, a little bit syrupy. It's a little bit waxy. Uh, I get a bit of that coconut. And I had said before, like in my romance video where I told the big stories, this one, the color of the juice in the bottle totally gives me this otherworldly vibe, like being on some sort of, uh, you know, fancy tropical island in some other world where the color uh, of the day is kind of this beautiful coral and pink and uh, orange and yellow, like it almost is like a sunset vibe. So you look at everything and there's this beautiful glow to everything. And then there's turquoise birds and turquoise fish. And it's just this wonderland of beauty, kind of like an avatar, like, you know, their world where you step and things just light up. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Like, I'm sure that heroine and Avatar, whatever her name was, uh, she she would smell like this. <laughs> so anyway, love wearing this one. I find the longevity is fa fantastic. Find the projection is phenomenal. Uh, just so enjoy wearing this one. I think this one would be cloying in the massive heat though. So uh, right now we've hardly gotten above 20, so it's still great. <laughs> Next fragrance I just totally enjoyed wearing was my new one, My Greek Lover by Untamed Perfumes. Um, I just, this one is so, it's, it's so beautiful because it's refreshing. Like I totally think of Greece as far as like this beautiful lemon in it. So My Greek Lover, it has uh, lemon and bitter orange, green grapes, herbs and spices in the opening. So like when I think about herbs and spices I, and I'm thinking of Greece, I think about things like rosemary, uh, lavender -y type things. Not that you necessarily get that feel, but there's just a little bit of aromatic attached to that lemon and kind of that tart, sweet uh, fragrance that's in that opening. But the it, it doesn't feel, uh, it doesn't feel fresh. It doesn't feel like cleaner. It smells uh, it smells just kind of sweet, but not, but an airy type of sweet, if that makes sense. Uh, and then this has uh, quince, fig, jasmine, and orange blossom in the heart. Definitely get the orange blossom, like big time orange blossom, but it doesn't feel, uh, it's not a sharp orange blossom. It's just a soft, round orange blossom. And what I said before is I feel like the orange blossom is a bit of a nucleus. So although it's there, very present, it feels like it just holds all the other notes together. So you're still getting all the other aspects of the fragrance, but the orange blossom is kind of like the nucleus. That's kind of what I feel with this one. And then it has cedar cypress, pine, mastic, musks, honey, and civet in the, the dry down. So this is just beautiful. It's relaxing. It's refreshing. I don't think this one would ever get cloying in the summer. I just love it. So I totally enjoy wearing this one. And this one is a beast as far as performance is concerned, even though it's kind of lighter. And I would put it in the same category, like it doesn't smell anything like it, but something like an Eau de Soleil Blanc, it's kind of in that same category, although this has a sweet kind of almost citrusy component. Um, this one, um, the longevity is just so, so, so great on this one. So you're getting some of that cypressy feel in this one that I actually get in Eau de Soleil Blanc. However, uh, this one is softer. It's a little bit smoother or kind of just feels a little bit more velvety. Uh, and then this one, the longevity is just so phenomenal. So I'm going to get like 
eight, nine hours out of it, I would say at least, and the projection is phenomenal. So just love my Greek lover. Now the fragrance that I struggled with this week uh, is Dolce & Gabbana, The Only One Intense. Now what's crazy is these two are kind of similar. So there's similar components in both of them. In fact, you could wear them together. You could wear this one during the day and then kind of uh, vamp it up a bit at night. Like when I smell them together, they smell amazing. Like they're just gorgeous. But um, for whatever reason, I prefer this one over this one. So this one has a woody component. It's got cedar in it. This one has apple, there's coconut. The opening, I'm just in love with. It smells like somehow a boozy coconut uh, with a little bit of brightness. I absolutely love the opening. It's the dry down that's just kind of okay to me. This is actually a gorgeous fragrance. So I raved about this. It is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. But it's like in, in when I smell it, like when I smell it on my skin, I think to myself, this smells beautiful. So it's not that it's not a beautiful fragrance because I think it's totally a beautiful fragrance, but it doesn't speak to me. Like I want a fragrance to speak to me. I want it to bring me, so, I don't want it to just be pretty. Like there's, there's so many pretty fragrances out there, but when I wear a fragrance, I want it to make me feel fabulous. I want it, I, I want it to transport me like to some other world like this one does. I want it to make me feel saucy or something. This doesn't make me feel anything. It's a nice, like it's a beautiful fragrance. That's it. It doesn't speak to my soul. So I think I'm going to have to give it away. I don't want to sell it somehow. It, it just, it's too nice to sell. So maybe I'll give it to my sister. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, maybe I'll have to just give this one away because I know I've talked about decluttering it. I don't want to. It smells really beautiful. Like I just love the way it smells. <sighs> So I don't quite know what to do with this one because as gorgeous it, as it is, and it always makes me hold on to it, it just doesn't move me. And I guess that's part of it. I want all my fragrances to move me in some capacity. Maybe I'm asking too much, but every other fragrance on this list so far totally moves me. So I think it's possible. So we'll see. Next fragrance that I wore that I absolutely love is Tresardi Donna. I talk about it tons. This is a beautiful kind of uh, refreshing lemon fragrance. There's lemon and yuzu in the opening. It's got some florals in there. It's got a bit of a woody dry down. This one is sophisticated. It smells a little bit sexy. It's classy. It lasts forever on my skin, although some people don't find that it lasts that long. So uh, everybody's different in regards to this one. Some people notice the florals more, but what I notice is that delicious lemon yuzu combination with that vanilla that kind of comes in and it just makes it, it smell somehow slightly fluffy. I just love it. So love this one. And then near the end of the day, I threw on my, my Zucchero Filato by Kais Perfumes. This one's super affordable. Like I've said before, I've got a coupon code for you, uh, Maria20. Uh, so it's in the description bo box. And all of these fragrances are always mentioned in my description with links to it. But this Zucchero Filato, I just love it. It's like a cotton candy with a bit of red berries in the top. Um, it's sweet, it's sugary, it's playful. I just really enjoy wearing this one and I find I'll layer this one, uh, you know, a lot with different fragrances. Started out with this and then as this started to wane, I threw this one on top. I wanna try these as a combination because I just think kind of a lemony cotton candy would be a cool mix. Uh, but anyway, this one holds its own for sure. I've worn this one on its own too, and it's great. And I oftentimes get compliments with this one. So when I put it on, my son will notice it. Or if I go out, someone will notice that I smell good because really everybody loves cotton candy. So you can't really go wrong with this one. And that is it. Uh, my standout, of course, was this, uh, combination like I swear by this combination it just smells amazing 
I just feel like I smell like a, a, a delicious goddess. Like, I, I think that when I wear that one, I almost feel like if you were to taste me, I would taste like some sort of massive delicious coconut peachy dessert. Like, it just smells so great. Like, I just can't get enough of myself when I wear that combination. It's so fantastic. But really, all, all of the fragrances that I wore for the week were amazing. Uh, as far as My Greek Lover is concerned, I'll put the coupon code for this one as well. It's 20% off uh, anything on the website till July 17th. So there's a coupon code for this one as well. Uh, all the fragrances will be linked down below. Um, what was your standout? And did you have one that you're like, uh, this just doesn't move me. Like it just doesn't move me. It's so, so, so beautiful. But somehow I always just feel kind of like blah when I wear it. So I don't quite get it. But anyway, do you have any fragrances like that? D have you tried this one? Do you love it or do you just think it's kind of okay? I would love to know. And other than that, that's it. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I hope you're having a great summer so far. That's it. Talk to you soon.